Hey everybody, um, today we're going to be going over how to make your desktop something like this, uh, make it generally a bit more clean and stuff like that. So the primary things we're going to be using today will be obviously linked in the description. And yeah, that's basically about it. You just have to fall step by step and most of it's you can figure out by yourself, but most people don't know about these programs. So that's what I'm aiming to show you guys. So the first program we're going to be using is uh, Screen Styler. And this is a very simple and easy way to get these widgets here and stuff. If you're looking for something more open source, then I'd recommend using RainMeter. Rain meter is also a very good uh, way to spice up your desktop. So go ahead and download the beta. So there's obviously going to be some bugs and things like that in there. But since I already have mine, I'm going to be opening that up. So it's going to bring you up to something like this that or it's going to have a um, administrator pop up. You just want to click yes or something like that on there. And this is kind of what it's going to look like for the first time using it. I haven't been using it for too long either. So you're going to go down to your styles and it'll say style template or something along the lines of that. And this is basically it. This is really it. Um, you just customize it, and then once you're done with customization, you can hit the check mark, but I'm gonna be going over some more things. So you have more widgets over here that you can you know, just pile onto there. So like the portal frame. You can turn off your wallpaper if you want. Um, this one does have some pretty okay wallpapers, but I'd recommend using a uh, lively or wallpaper engine as your background. Now this is where you can drag and drop any uh, shortcuts that you have or need onto the interface. So just drag and drop and it'll appear here or there. So, yeah. And then the dock. The dock is basically just a dock. And uh, don't worry about this. This will fix itself um, once you uh, actually apply the wallpaper. It won't be hanging so low. So the dock will just have stuff like uh, widgets and shortcuts into there. So let's see, you can just drag and drop things into there. Yeah. And then you can customize your Steam uh, background on this if you also desire to, but they also have a sister project named Steam Customizer. Uh, you can use that if you want. So here's the settings general stuff for the app itself. So once you're done, just click apply style and it should apply. And that's basically it. That's all you really need. Pretty simple and uh, useful thing. It displays news and weather if you want. So yeah. So next up is lively wallpaper. This is uh, what I use because I'm, I don't want to pay $3 for wallpaper engine. Uh, <laughs> but Lively wallpaper is pretty simple. Uh, it's you just drag and drop stuff into it, or uh, just hit add wallpaper up here. I'll show you how to install it. So you want to go over here. Do not get the Microsoft Store edition. Whatever you do, do not get that. That does not work as well as the actual open source uh, installer. So you're gonna want to download that, and it's pretty simple. You just set as default and stuff like that. Uh, and the 
wallpaper where I get my wallpapers is my live wallpapers.com. I'll put that in the description as well. And this is just a bunch of uh, wallpapers that you can use on lively wallpapers. Something I forgot to mention is that uh, how to actually put it into lively wallpapers. You're going to hit download and just save. Now you're going to open up lively wallpapers. We're going to hit add wallpaper. Choose file, or you can enter a YouTube URL to uh, play it off of that YouTube video. And so what you want to do is any really any MP4 file will actually work on this, but just get something off of Lively Wallpapers because mm -hmm. usually they have the best looping ones. You're just gonna hit open, and it'll be there. You'll get to title it and everything. So yeah, so I don't currently have Rain Meter open. And uh, I don't plan on using it soon, so I'm just going to get you a rundown and an overview of it. But you can watch uh, someone else's video on it. Uh, I'll link someone like NTTS. Uh, he has very good explanations on Rainmeter. So Rainmeter is going to look something like this. It looks a little complicated, and sometimes it is. But essentially what you're going to go to do is go to rainmeter.net. I'll put that in the description, make it easy for you guys. Uh, hit download and it should run you through some configuration stuff and then you'll have um, some default skins, I believe. Uh, but you'll need to, the ones that pop up on your screen after you load up, you're gonna essentially, uh, let's see, here, let's just open it up real quick, actually. Uh, let's do clock. So it's going to so look something like this. You're going to hit this and unload skin. That's how you're going to get rid of that. Uh, those ugly ones. And then to find plugins, you can also search up rain meter um, plugins and uh, stuff like that, visualizers and stuff like that. So this is one of the more used uh, Ray Meter skins that are is out. So you're gonna get hit download, and right here is what you want to look at before you actually download it and save it. It needs to be an RM skin, or else it will not work with Rain Meter because it is specifically that that can only work with rain meter so that's basically it uh watch a video on rain meter personally rain meter is actually probably better than uh screen style so yeah